Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be unboxing of a mermaid tail. This is the box and I haven't opened it yet. So let's get right into the video. Oh my god, I'm so excited guys. Look how pretty. I mean, not pretty. It's just a box. But like, I'm already so excited about um, <clears throat> receiving it. This is my second tail. Remember the last one was a little bit too big. So this one, I got it a size smaller. It's supposed to be the Caspian Cove mermaid tail which is like it was my favorite one out of their whole last collection so i'm super excited anyways let's uh, let's unbox it oh my god Oh my god, look at these colors. I'm like already obsessed. Oh my god, do you know that these are literally my favorite colors in the world? Like turquoise and this kind of light purple. This is another one of those tail care sheets. Nothing on the back. So let's look at the body. It starts off with this darker purple at the band and this is stretchy but not too stretchy. I hope it fits me this time. So it starts with this purple and then it transitions into a lighter purple and then kind of a blue I guess and then into turquoise and then it gets more saturated towards the bottom of the tail. God these colors! I'm so obsessed with these colors. Wow, there's definitely more detail the lower we go on the tail. Um, and this part is more, I don't know, like soft, which is nice. I think it's a nice transition. So then as we get to the bottom, it transitions more into blue again and into purple. Ugh, the fluke is heavy, which I already know because it's the same with the last one, but here is what the detail looks like at the bottom of the fluke. Wow, really pretty. So here you can see that it's a size small. The inside of it is white or I guess kind of like cream. And uh, this is how the seams look on the inside of the tail. So just to show you guys the material, even though it stretches, but it, this is how it stretches. So I'm really actually pulling hard right now. It probably doesn't look like it, but the point is it doesn't stretch all that much, which is why it's important to get the correct size. And this is the fluke. So pretty. There's a little bit of like resistance here because the vinyl was kind of folded, but that should be fine if you just leave it flat for some time then the vinyl should like flatten out and you know look normal but yeah look at this transition and the way the colors blend together I love it so much the bottom looks kind of like a flower or a butterfly doesn't it so let's see how many drain holes this one has so there's one here at the very tip small one and there's one here and three okay it looks like it has the same amount of drain holes as the other tail that had a what was it a lotus fluke but basically three drain holes on each side of the fluke so six total the zipper is actually purple and it goes all the way down to here And there is the vinyl. So 
see these are not completely soft it looks like they have vinyl in them as well same as the fluke it would make them probably keep their shape in the water much better with having vinyl there but yeah I see like if I hold it like this it doesn't just fall you can see there's um, something supporting it and this looks like a drain hole the print is gorgeous look at the transition here this detail is incredible. I actually really like it. I'm going to probably lay this tail on the bed out again so you guys can see the whole tail. It's the vinyl on the inside, can you hear? And there's a little bit of air in there, which is just how it works. After you get in the water, it will usually come out through, either through the top or through the drain holes. Love it, oh my god. Can't wait to swim in it. Yeah, but it looks better. You mean the design or the fit? N no, the fit. Really? Yeah. You want me to help push it a little bit higher? No.
In case you are wondering what is all that stuff that's floating in the pool, the water is actually clean, but I think it rained a day before, so a bunch of leaves and things like that fell in. So that's what that is, just leaves and I guess pieces of trees, I don't know, but the water is clean, so nothing to worry about. So I took my tail off and here is the monofin on the inside and I just wanted you to see what happens when I take it off. Look at how much water is at the bottom and it does have drain holes so that's useful. So what I like to do is just flip the tail upside down so that all the water will come out from the top. But basically I'm gonna take it upstairs, rinse it off in the shower in like cold water or maybe very slightly warm water. So I wanted to show you guys how the vinyl casing looks. These are the pins that hold it together. The shorter part goes in the front and the longer part is actually the back of your tail. It is an exact shape of the tail. So this is pretty much it for the video. If you actually made it this far, then you guys are incredible. And thank you for watching the entire video. If you liked it, give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.